Hello class. Uh, today we are going to be working on our illusion notebook paper that is being sucked out into space. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get our piece of paper, our ruler and our pencil, and we need to make notches on both sides of our paper so that we can create nice even lines. So our first mark that we are going to make is going to be at the one inch marker. After that, we're going to put a notch every half inch. So that would be at one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, going all the way down. All right, we are not going to move our paper or our ruler. Don't flip anything around, just move your ruler to the other side of the paper, and you're gonna do the exact same thing. So a mark at one and every half inch going all the way down. So now we are going to connect those dots starting at the first uh, two notches at the top of the paper, working your way down. This is so we can create uh, lines that are a half inch apart going all the way down to create that notebook look. Now we need to make a one inch mark on both the top and bottom side of your left hand paper to create that line that that notebook has. Now we need to create a random shape. It doesn't have to be anything specific and you don't have to have the exact shape that I did, but we just need to create a shape that is large um, going from the top of the paper to the bottom and from both sides that is created from 90 degree angles, meaning you have a bunch of squares and rectangles kind of connected together. Maybe imagine that you lost a game of Tetris and this is the shape that's in the middle. Okay, so now we're gonna work on creating our angles to create a 3D aspect of our paper. So that little dot I put in the center, that's gonna be our vanishing point. We're then gonna go to any 90 degree angle put our ruler at the 90 degree angle and point it to that vanishing point. See how I'm lining those up? You, gen you then put it like a little notch and that is uh, where we're going to put that 3D piece of paper. So you're gonna go to every single notch. If, if you look at this one that I just did, if we were to put a notch there, it would look like it's going on top of the paper. So all of our notches need to be going into the hole where space is going to be. So just think of that when you're checking all your notches. So just watch as I go around, I'm checking each 90 degree angle that I have to see if I can put a notch there. And it will, uh, as I go around, everything will point to that one vanishing point. That means that when we're looking at that point, uh, if it were to go infinitely uh, back into space, everything would vanish into that point. All right, so once you have gone around to all of your 90 degree angles, we now need to connect all those notches together. If you see this first line I did, it didn't have a notch, so I just went straight, uh, it didn't have a notch down at the bottom, so I just went straight down and didn't connect it to anything. Um, so that's what you'll do if you don't have two notches to connect, you just uh, draw a straight line right into uh, the line of your shape. All right, so now we need to get into some shading. Remember, shading is best used uh, if you're using the side of your pencil, not the tip of the lead. Uh, it's easier to build up, so draw lightly first, and then you can build a darker layer. We want um, the darkest point to be where our black hole, where the space is going to be, so that we can create an illusion that um, it's darker in the background. So you're just gonna go around and shade all of your uh, edges. And after that, we're going to create a few um, little blocks that look like the paper kind of uh, exploded out of the hole and is being sucked out into space. So what you'll do is you'll just figure out where you want those random rectangles or squares and um, just add those. Using a ruler is best because you can get a nice straight line.
Okay, so now we still have to do the same converging lines going to that vanishing point to create us a 3D box. So it looks like that paper is still 3D, but just floating back. So same method you used on the shape on the outside, you're gonna do the same for these uh, floating notebook boxes. And then again, same shading. All right, so I decided to only create three boxes, but you are more than welcome to create several more and you can overlap them together to create even more uh, depth. So depending on what supplies you have at home, I know it's uh, limited right now. So if you have crayons, markers, paint, um, just get creative with your materials. I'm using paint right now. So what I'm doing is just painting in um, that whole inside hole that I've created to create that uh, illusion that space is in the background behind this piece of paper. Um, if you were to use uh, crayons or colored pencils, I would just uh, suggest coloring in a lot darker than you normally would so that you have a nice dark surface. Make sure you don't paint over any of your shading. All right, so now I'm using my three primary colors. Remember, red, blue, yellow. Uh, blue and yellow make green, red and yellow make orange, and blue and purple make purple. So you have basically all the colors of the rainbow if you just have those three colors. I'm going to create by starting um, the sun and just a layer of yellow and white. I'm then adding some blue and white to create a random planet. Uh, putting a little black, just mixing it up. Now I'm gonna start working on my moon. Uh, basically, this is just a pile of blue, white, and black, I'm trying to make a nice little gray color. And then just going to randomly dab a little black and white to create the creators. And remember, the moon is, uh, it's not a smooth surface, so you don't have to be exact with your painting on this. All right, so I'm just working on making that uh, one planet a little brighter, adding in some whites, a little more blue. I'm then going to work on a couple other planets using uh, some purples, which is just uh, red and blue mixed together, and then an orange one, which is red and yellow. All right, my sun needs some burst, so I'm just adding a few little rays coming out. All right, and coming up is the really fun part. So I just dip my paintbrush into some white paint and using my finger to tap it, I am creating all my beautiful stars. This is what really makes it look like a galaxy in space and it's super fun to do, but make sure that you aren't too messy. So now I'm using a bristle brush, which is just a short uh, bristle and I'm dabbing purples and whites to kind of create those Milky Way colors. So this is really, there's no correct method to it. Just uh, make sure you have a ton of paint on your paintbrush so that you don't have globs. Um, maybe you can dab it in on a paper towel to get a little bit of the excess paint off, but just have fun with this part. Um, now I'm adding some rings to my planet. Give a little more je ne sais quoi to them. All 
All right, now I decided that my son looked a little boring and lacked uh, a bit of depth. So I'm adding a little bit of red to create an orange and then layering a bit more of yellow on top of that just so it looks a little more fire. All right, the last thing we need to do is add that three uh, section onto our note. I just basically made some circles and then I'm adding a little bit of shading side to create a, uh, a bit of depth so it looks like the paper is sitting on top of something. And there we have it.